from a Geelong perspective, Blitzarves just watched. They've been doing a little of that, the Cats, so far this year. Into the middle. Well, strong for Menzel. Hawkins charges back with Frawley. Ball is sent wide. Matt, he loves to kick a goal. The run to about 50. Works it inside to Hawkins. Well, he's been incredibly accurate this year. 12 goals, 3-3-1, three, three, then 4-2 and 5 straight. Last week against the Dees. This for his 400th goal in AFL football. That is sweet. Up comes 400. All behinds last week. Now to Sicily. The late in for Vickery. Yeah, Vickery just tight back, we are told, pre-match. Ruffhead with an opportunity here. Dangerfield got a bad corky then from Jared Ruffhead in that attempted marking contest. And here it is here. Jared Ruffhead. Yeah, the knee and the... the uh, knee. Oh, that hurts. In the kidney region there. Oh. Takes a little off the kick. Smith dropped a fumble. O'Brien, his first game of the year, got the ball inside to Gunston. He still kept it in. Can he kick his first of the year? Gunston, he swung it around. He's on the board in 2017. It's funny you say that with the ruck contest, Lee. You imagine this game, if that rule was not there... Just pause for a second, Bruce. <laughs> Dangerfield. Good tackle, Rioli. There's a contest. Henson terrific to Menzel, to Murdoch on the wrong side, but he flips it for Menengola. Menengola to Parsons. Parsons, that's a neat-looking kick for Taylor. Got him. So they transition the ball from one end to the other. So he's 03 today, Lenny, and Geelong at 211. He just chipped it that one. It's not a really comfortable goal kicking technique. To the skipper, he's just put it in the right spot. He knew where he wanted a player to be in pocket to ran to the football. The number five for Geelong against Hawthorne. It's done a lot of brilliant things and it's done another brilliant thing there. Pocket to steadies goals. As we approach the half, three goals to two, three, 12 to two, four. Selwood just thumps the ball forward. Menegola kept it in well, and then a quick hurried ball in the Menzel direction. How quickly can he get around to it? Got boot to ball. Gibson, the sweeper. He might have gone all the way. He has. So a half back, trying to get around. And Gibson right at the shepherd. Tom Mitchell gets the mark, so they probably gained. Uh, a few metres, and Tom Mitchell short. You can still bump body to body, heavy shepherd. Anyone who thinks you can't bump heavily, if it's high, you're in trouble. But as a body to body... Duncan went searching, found Motlop. He got it the second time, ran into a bit of trouble, loses a footy out the side. Sisley couldn't take it clearly, so would could. And then Mackey kicks smothered to Mitchell, to Smith. To goals, it's a long ball, it's a perfect start for Hawthorne. Here's Hartung back to Gibson, and then Gibson with that heavily strapped head of his. Gee, Henderson missed that one, rough head. Will Smith on the burst, well, great run down, wonderful tackle. Hodge chases after it, Parker couldn't quite get there. Stratton at half forward, top of the square territory, Sicily, Good the mark. strongest of hands. Gee, that was a good mark. And then Shields, clever toe poke in the end, though. Duncan was first onto it. Switched it to Tui. Switched it to Motlop. Motlop centering ball. Lonigan getting forward. Stewart getting forward and banging it home. His first goal in footage. And Geelong reassert their authority here in the match. <laughs> no, I reckon Menegola is in trouble for this tackle. He's on report. It's OK. Ball was well gone. This is the sling tackle. There, Paddy, yeah, not both hold. arms weren't picked. Saw so Stewart get his first goal in league footy a moment ago. Could Parsons get this one home? Up, under, high, long, strong. There you go. He's a good kick. It's his first goal. Menengola flipped it over the top. Parsons. Good hands, par for there they are, Lingy, all those blokes you were talking about. Now to Motlop, and Motlop, clever kick, gets to Duncan, opens it up and kicks the goal. Too easy. Too easy, but beauty if you're a Cats fan. Advantage taken, no, Mitchell sort of pretended he was. Here's Hodge, steps inside, Parsons taken high. 
I'm reporting it for striking. Reporting it for striking. He's on report. Not sure why he didn't. Parsons will be having a holiday here. Yeah, that was all the away from the body. He's so dangerous. Yep. You break a jaw there. Not on at all. Menzel. High. Not a good kick, actually. We know what he was trying to do, but he bought time and space for the Hawks, really. Clever by Cocker, too. Gibson Motlop's quick. We know that all. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that might depend whether he's paid it. Where outside, outside, the nine meters. Yeah, outside the uh, nine metres from uh, the goal line. In the spot they're in, and the players aren't used to being in the spot they're in. Duncan, superb to sell it to Motlop. He moves so well. A couple of bounces. Doesn't want to finish off initially, and then knows that he can and does. Duncan, Menengola. Gee, that's a good kick as well by Menengola and Menzel. I mean, that, that's the biggest Victorian game, and Selwood and Hawkins has got it. And maybe the biggest game in the cop right now. So he's kicked 15 goals for the season. He's on for about a 90-goal season, gets it home four again today. That's what he's averaging for the year. Every Sunday, who is number one in the 10? Mondays, Lyon, Barrett and Lloyd are access all areas. Did the umpires make the right call in whistleblowers? Wednesdays, relive the greatest of all time in Fantastic Five. Thursdays, who's going to win and why in Pick a Winner? We will ask the burning question. Get the latest footy news and stay up to date with Footy Feed and across the weekend, we've got the game covered with the best videos and the best highlights on the number one sports site in the country, afl.com.au.